Back when I was growing up, I had a great uncle named Dale. He was actually my great uncle by marriage. And whenever he came down to family reunions, I always looked forward to it because he always kept all of us laughing. I always said to people, it would be kind of like if George Carlin or Richard Pryor showed up at the cookout. And uh, Uncle Dale was an atheist. And my family used to give him a hard time about it. And they used to always try to find a way to sell religion to him. And I remember one time at this cookout we had, somebody asked him if he'd be willing to say grace. And I remember even as a kid thinking, why are they asking him to do that? And he fired back on them real quick and he said, I tell you guys what, you all pray to God, I'll pray to Ben Matlock and I promise we'll get the same results. And I'm the only kid that busted out laughing. Over the years, I always said to myself, how can I write a song about my Uncle Dale? Well, Uncle Dale got cancer and he battled it for a whole many years, long time. When he came down to die and I heard about what he said on his deathbed, I said, there's the song. So I call this one Old Uncle Dale. Took that curve too fast down at the junction. Cut that tail up phone hole clean in two. Doc said he'd be lucky to ever function. But he was right back at the Elks Lodge of first of June. Ate a hollow point. Once in a card game Lucky for him It hit his partial plate Doc said half an inch In any wrong way And he'd have been Meeting old St. Peter At the pearly gates Uncle Dell You got nine lives But you're running don't you think you and Jesus might ought to make things right? He said, I prayed once to Ben Matlock, and the results came out the same. And if the devil created rock and roll, well, I'll be dancing in the flames. Got in the brawl with the saint Bernard in Detroit. Old Cujo went straight for the throat. The family sure had one hell of a story. When he sent that mud packing on down the road. Stabbed in the gut, sitting in his recliner. Poor Aunt Betty took all that she could take. But two weeks later, he was back down at the diner. Showing his scar to the waitress on her brace. Doc said, sir, you better get your things in order. Write your will, you're running out of time. He said, if they couldn't shut me up at the Korean border, then I'd love to see this cancer, give it a try. Fifteen years later, at his bedside, Family begged him, please just let us pray. With a defiant grin and a twinkle in his weak eyes. These were the last words that he had to say. Your Uncle Dale has lived nine lives and now I'm running out of time. But how do you know me and Jesus ain't all But if he and I have spoke about where I'm bound to go, will you hypocrites here by my bed be the last damn ones to know? <laughs>